Good evening, folks. An end around today on our usual topics. This paper describes the use of magnetic fields to create apoptosis, or cell death, in tumor cells. This is absolutely possible and not a new idea, but neither is the recognition that it has similar effects on non-tumor cells. There appear to be about an equal number of studies showing positive potential and negative potential of application of abnormal magnetic fields on cells. This one points to the magnetic field's increase in reactive oxygen species, and that is a known pathway. But they may have missed a contributing factor, something more subtle, and one that shouldn't be forgotten in our electromagnetic environment either. But first, for those in the field who obviously don't know who I am and are wondering why they should listen, you deserve a reason. I worked with several new chemical entities about a decade ago for a pharmaceutical company in Ohio. They were novel cationic steroidal antimicrobials that mimic the natural human innate immune system peptide LL37, found in saliva, mucus, skin oils, and elsewhere. The molecules that we were dealing with had a cationic or positively charged head group that was attracted to the negative signal of pathogens, their lipid bilayer, their surface proteins. This charge interaction began to depolarize the membrane and weaken it. The molecules also had hydrophobic tails, which would literally lash into the membrane, causing blebbing and apoptosis, cell death. Interestingly, often this occurred to a measurable degree before the introduction of the tail interaction with just the membrane depolarization. Hopefully you in the field are satisfied. Now, the magnetic fields used as instrumentation in this study are matched by electric fields and charged particle interactions, all of which have the potential to harm cell integrity. When we think about the natural electromagnetic conditions of Earth during a major solar and geomagnetic storm, or with Earth's global magnetic field rapidly changing now, or with the introduction of 5G technology and the microwave emitters called cell phones we all walk around with in our pockets, the various frequencies, this isn't woo-woo pseudoscience. I picked out this study, but I could have picked from thousands on the subject. The message is this. When it comes to cell integrity and apoptosis, I can tell you that I not only know the literature, but I worked with these interactions and saw their power to change normal cell behavior and condition. There is a lot of overstating and speculation when it comes to these topics online, but it is rooted in something real, with which we live every day, and which both our innovation and the natural conditions are impacting to a greater degree with no immediate end expected to the electrification and frequency bombardment of our world or the changes in the magnetic field of Earth, which are resulting in a magnetic polar shift and change in the local geomagnetic conditions everywhere. We are, after all, electromagnetic biology. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.